Hello and welcome back everyone to the wobbly world of Let's Play Golden Sun. Um, so I guess this is an emulator thing and no one's really figured out a way to uh, fix it. So we'll just live with it, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is the last time we learned our quest to go and save the four elemental crystal, I mean stars, even though we have one of them already. And then stop the lighthouses and save the world. So, yeah. Um, well, I see there's this thing. Uh... I see there's this thing. <laughs> Ow! A traveling warrior! And I see you're an adept, too! You are just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? I am a Venus Jenny. My name is Flint. Oh wow, that was easy. We already found the gin. We're off to a great start. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle or just use your power, our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? Pfft, heck yeah! It's like a GF in Final Fantasy VIII. Hmm. Maybe I should think of a different... A different, um... It's kind of like a Norman in Tales of Berseria. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Ginny. Ginny? is now our ally. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. After bringing a Jinny into your party, such as myself, you must set it to somebody. Oh, now we have something new in the thing. To give your Jinny to someone else, move it like this. After choosing who will take the Jinny, you can set it. Okay. Setting a Jenny changes your attributes and maybe even your class. Interesting. When your class changes, the synergy you may you you <laughs> the synergy you can use may also change. Next, I'll show you how you can use us in battle. Each Jenny has different powers. Strike a blow that can cleave stone. That sounds not terribly useful. Once we are set, you can unleash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. It's a zombie! I'm not doing anything. Choose this command to unleash me in battle, okay? That's all you have to do to unleash a set Jenny. Dang. Uh, I noticed there's like one thing up there next to our, um, here I'll highlight it for you. See, when you unleashed me, I attacked with my mighty Stone Cleaver! After being unleashed, we Jin will then stand by to be summoned. If you have a standby Jin, you can summon even greater powers! The elemental power of Earth. Okay. This is interesting. Isaac summons Venus. Woo! Pretty good damage. If only that counted. See, we Jin can be very useful, can't we? Oh, and one more thing. After a Jinny has been used to summon it, it must spend time in recovery. And after we recover, we will set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Did you get all that? Yeah, I think I got it. Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the help, okay? that select? 
Okay, I'll join you now. Thank you very much. Please use us Jin wisely. Whoosh! You will die! That's just, that's just gonna be a running thing from now on. The Venus... The Venus... The Venus Jenny Flint has joined our party. Oh, uh, well you can zoom out with L and world map with R. That's about it. Okay, well, um, let's check him out. So we go from a squire to a squire, and our HP, power points, and attack increase. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Then we can set him to standby if we want to. But I don't see why we would. Okay. Well, um, cool. Awesome. We're, we're off to a great start. We found a gen. Now what? Uh, well, there's a bridge over here. Let's get to it. Alright, nothing interesting, just a little vermin. I, I mean that in the most literal sense possible. Um, let's head up this way. This, this path seems very promising. Uh, just in a maze. We should be able to take this out in one round, though. No? What the heck? Is it stronger because it's on the world map? I'm gonna go ahead and show that one, because, um, I feel like that's kind of... I don't know, important info, I guess? Uh, there's a town here. It's the town of Loonpa. What's with you? You wanna enter Loonpa? Well, you can't! Go back to where you came from. Okay. Actually, I kind of do want to. Uh, oh, cool. You can run on the world map, too. I'm sure that increases your counter rate and all, but uh, at the same time, I am pretty sure it would just... Okay, we're gonna want to cure, because uh, that was pain. Luckily, cure restores 70 HP, and we have 60-something as max. So, yeah. Alright, we're back in Vale. I want to see if there's like a shop or something? Yeah, like this one. Because we have a... We have a decent amount of money. Uh, 411 coins. Or at least I assume that's decent. I don't know. Welcome! We have just the gear you need! Artifacts? We don't have uh, many rarities right now, but do come again. Okay. Um... Sells herbs for 10 coins and antidotes for 20. Wow, that's... It's pretty cheap. Cool. How about you? Come in, take a look at our fine weapons. Well, let's see, we have a long sword, which is 200, light blade, which is 120, a mace, which is 80, and a staff, which is 40. Um, ah, cool. Okay, you can actually see the stats and everything, too. I was wondering about that. Um, light sword and short sword are apparently... Or the light blade. Uh, no, wait. Oh, I see. Name of item. Description of item. So, long sword is a long sword, short sword is a light blade, mace is mace, wooden stick is staff. Okay. Um, so we're using short swords. Uh, just out of curiosity, how much does armor cost? Travel vest, one piece dress, shield, gloves, and hat. Okay. Well, um, we could probably use the defense increasing items as much as I want to get a longsword. Um, okay, here's what I'll do. I will get the longsword for... Yes, I would. It looks very good on you. How does seven coins for your padded gloves sound? Sure. Okay. Um, a hat, because we probably don't have anything in that slot. <laughs> I like this. It looks very good on you thing. It's a little creepy, actually. Um, clothing is, is... Cotton shirt is the same as what we've got, so the upgrade would be a travel vest. Um, we don't have enough to get two of these unless it's... Yeah. Oh, actually, we have just enough. Awesome. Hmm. 
He makes weird squeaking noises when you talk to him. You look bolder already. 90 coins for the shorts are heck yeah. Oh, who gets this game ticket? Uh, I think I missed something. You, you get the game ticket. Cool, I got the game ticket. Okay, so they sell for three quarters of value. It's not bad. Alrighty, um... Game ticket? A special ticket from Tolby. What do I do with it? Fix damage weapons before they break. <laughs> Herb's not broken. Well, it's good to know. Um, hmm. How do I know it's damaged? Uh, well, we could sell stuff. Can I sell the game ticket? I can. I feel like it should do something, though. Phil has felt so empty and quiet since you left. I've been gone for like three seconds. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? Because I think I skipped some important text and I'm just like, um, what's this do? Game ticket. Slot machine game called Lucky Wheels is found in Tolby. Is, no, Vale is this name of our town. So, I guess it's just a random thing we can get. Uh, we could rest at the inn. And I'm probably not gaining power points back when... Or psi points. When I'm running around, so... Eh, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Alright. Well... Now that we're all geared up and ready to go, let's uh, let's kill some bats. Okay. Just some bats. No, no need to worry. Well, that's quite a party, isn't it? Let's just start to encounter some larger enemy groups. There's like three enemies in that, man. All right. Well, uh, there's a cave nearby. That city. Um, I just kept. This one vermin just kept defending over and over and took like three turns to kill him. Alright, so we're in the West Loonpa Cave. And this doesn't do anything. It's just a puddle of water. Alright. Well, silly me for expecting anything different, I guess. Um, this looks like a button. Isaac, flip the switch. Wait. No. I, I didn't want to do that. But... How do I... Um, can I... Can I move it? No. Okay. Well, I guess we screwed that one up royally. <laughs> um... Maybe we're not supposed to go to Limpa. Let's go the other way. Okay. Let's head south. Ah, here's a town. What's in this one? Um, uh, are we about to get attacked by cowboys? We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We return to Calais immediately. Oh, okay. Bye. Master Hammett, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What's the bridge? Well, bollocks. This is awful. How are we going to get to Calais now? Master Hammett, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it is his fault my rod was stolen. And its strange powers will aid him in the search for the rod. Ivan has strange powers? Whoa! What the crap was that? We must leave this treacherous place immediately! But to where? Where can we go? Uh, we have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up at Loompa if we go north. 
Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? Only marginally. Okay, well, that happened. All right, bye. Um, what? Anyway, we're in the town of Vault now. Welcome to Vault, the town at the heart of Angara. Which I guess is the continent? No. This rock was blown here all the way from the volcano. It's odd, doesn't it? It sparkles so much, it looks like a gem. If only these rocks were gems, we'd be wealthy. But instead, they're just weird glowing rocks. Wasn't the eruption of Mount Aleph incredible? Sure. I was so stricken with terror that I couldn't sleep for days. Days? That happened like a few hours ago at most. Well, yesterday. My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. Hey mister, is it fun to stra see strange new places? Heck yeah. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. Yep, that's all adventurers really do. Those travelers left in a big hurry. They looked like they were on the run. Did you see them coming in? I did. No, not Master Hammett. It was a group of two women and four men. They were quite strange. The young girl and the old man didn't look too happy to be there. Oh. Could it be... Jenna? That poor guy, Ivan. They left him at the mares to look for the stolen rod. Mr. Hammett's caravan left town as soon as the eruption happened. I guess that volcano really shook him up. Isaac peered into the well. You can hear water. Surprising. Hmm. Off an adventure, are you? It's impressive to see youngsters like you going on a dangerous journey. We're ready to save the world. I'm sure you are. A fiery rock burnt a hole through the roof. Sheesh, it's always me who has to take care of these things. Welcome to our inn. It's eight coins. Don't mind the hole in the roof. Okay, please enjoy your stay. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Guests upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched the room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. Those three strangers sure have fooled the innkeeper and his wife. They're the type of people who think they can get away with anything. Like stealing a bunch of elemental stars and bringing ruin upon the world. You haven't done anything. You're a terrible person if you start accusing people for no good reason. That kid Ivan, he creeps me out. He just came and grabbed my arm and I shook him off because he made me uncomfortable. Weird. Sounds like a potential party member to me. But first we need to make him face himself. Um, old man. Master Hammett's servant can't return to Calais until he recovers the rod. That'd be Ivan. I guess some folks got robbed during the chaos of the volcanic eruption. Well, that's unfortunate. Hello. Um, hello. Ask me anything about armor. Do you have some? You do. A bracelet. Or a leather armlet, that is. Neither of them can equip it. Though. What about circle? Wait, what? Oh, no. So, all this stuff is stuff we already have or stuff we can't equip. Awesome. Uh, how about you, Mr. Weapon Man? You have all the same stuff except for this axe. Hello, Battle Axe. You are quite strong. But we can't really equip it at the moment. Or afford it, that is. Um, how about the item store? Herbs and antidotes. I'm probably gonna need antidotes at some point, but not right now. Uh, is it just me or am I missing something? I don't know. Ever since the eruption, Grandpa wonders if anything was stolen. He doesn't realize we don't even have anything worth stealing.
The healer must be worried about... Oh, never mind. It's not your problem. Welcome, weary wanderers. What aid do you seek? Let's see. We can revive, cure poison, repel evil, and remove a curse. Interesting. So, all towns have healers like that? My husband, the mayor, can't believe anyone from Vault could be the thief. But unless we find who stole the rod, Ivan can't return home to Calais. Could someone please help Ivan? Please, get him out of my house! Ivan has great powers, wouldn't you like to know what they are? No way, it's our secret! I could help up Ivan if I was just a little older. Yes, I, I do possess strange powers. You look like a girl. You have them too, don't you? What, my power? It's called Synergy? I had no idea. Too many boys in this party. We have so much in common. I feel I can trust you with this. I am quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? Please stop asking me to help you with your master's rod. That's just weird. Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... Please just let us tell you. Isaac and Garrett. I am Ivan. Pleased to meet you. My ability to read people's minds frightens you, doesn't it? I mean, it's not really frightening, it's just, could you hold a normal conversation? Am I really, is my mind read so frightening? No! Ivan and Isaac clasp their hands together. Okay, this is getting a little weird. Ah, oh, my mind! Stop reading my mind, Ivan! So, Isaac, could you read Garrett's mind? Just as I thought. What? You read my mind too, Isaac? I guess that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Which I just learned about three seconds ago. Hey, that's not fair! Why do you get to read my mind? Because you're a simpleton. Oh, you're right. It's not fair to read one way. Ivan and Garrett clasped their hands together. Well, I did it! I read your mind, Isaac! There's not a whole hell of a lot going on in there, is it? Let's use Mind Read to find the thieves. Uh, wait a second. Won't people know that we're using Mind Read? Oh, I see. You two can tell when I'm using Synergy? Isaac, both you and Garrett are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your minds. Ordinary people can't see anything, so there's nothing to worry about. And if they react, you know they're definitely suspicious. Don't worry, I will not read your minds again. Ivan joined our party! Heck yeah! Look at his beautiful purple eyes. Let me read the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. And so we must... We must take an aside on our epic quest for now to help Ivan find his his master's rod. Out of curiosity, what would happen if I did this? He goes from a seer to a wind seer. Oh, he is cure with um flint. Well, crap. I want to give that to him. Oh, wait. Did he just lose a couple of other things, though? Oh. He loses Ray and Whirlwind. Uh, and those are kind of his bread and butter, I think. Oh, wait a minute. 
Can we not see offensive spells without being in combat? Because if that's the case, Jenna might have already had some. And I will feel pretty dumb if that's the case. No? Okay, he has Whirlwind. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out more about how these gin work, but will we be able to find Ivan's Master's Rod? <laughs> Let's hope not, but we'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. Until then, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. <laughs> And or subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications on all my uploads, generally every Saturday. Yup. Until then, later guys.